Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So in the last few weeks, you probably have seen what the markets, what's going on in the markets. Um, and in the last few weeks, it seems everything is going down. Okay, so as you can see here, my portfolio has been going up and down every single day, every single week in the last couple of weeks. The whole market is down at the moment and it looks like that's probably what's going to happen until December this year. I don't know what's going to change. I don't know if things are going to get better or worse. Only nobody knows what's going to happen in the market. What I know for sure is I will be buying more stocks. And that is something that I'm for sure, like 100% sure. And the reason I'm sure is because I'm not thinking about what might happen tomorrow or next week or next month or even five months down the line. I'm more focusing on what might happen, you know, in I'm investing money right now that I want to use probably in about 10, 15 years down the line, inshallah. And only Allah knows whether we will be alive or not, but that's the goal. And that is something that is keeping me going. And I don't mind, right now, as you can see, the portfolio is down from where it was a couple of months ago. And I have been adding to basically this portfolio and I have actually bought more stocks and I've added more money, right? As you can see right now, I've added about £9,000 since April of this year. I've got another another £11,000 to add until April um, the 7th to max out my ISA account. And which I will be doing in short life, I'm still alive and I still have a job, okay? And the reason I'm confident in this is because... The companies that I'm trying to add to my portfolio are companies that have a growing revenue. They have a free cash flow. They pay me dividends most of the time, the majority of the companies anyway, while I wait. Just this month, I'll share it with you guys. Okay. I've been hundreds of pounds in dividends. Okay. And, and that's my goal. That's what I want to do. Hopefully one day be able to live off some of the passive income that I receive from these portfolios that I'm building. So the family portfolio is doing all right. This portfolio is doing okay. As you can see right now, I'm still up 2% despite the markets being up and down, right? Maybe by by, sun, by, by, by Monday morning, I might be down, I don't know, 2 3%. But again, my plan is again to add the 250 pounds a week that I've been adding. Lately, I've actually been adding a little bit more. So the moral of the story is I don't want people to worry about what's going on in the market. Okay, I want you to focus on your long term investment. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you five companies that you could potentially add to your portfolio. And these companies are not just randomly picked companies, companies that have a really good cash flow, right? Growing revenue and they are very like very well known companies so they're not just gonna go they basically completely bankrupt anytime soon so the plan is to own company quality companies that have a free cash flow growing revenue okay you know minimum or, or zero debt okay um, they have a nice margin so profit margins and things like that so that's what we're aiming for and if you own those companies no matter what happens in the stock market overall it will get, basically they will bounce back even these camp, some of these companies are now 30, 40, 50 percent down. I'll share with you in a second. But the mo the, you know, the story is, you know, the by the time hopefully in about two, three years down the line, you will look back and say, you know what, I'm glad I bought these companies. Please don't take my advice. That's what I'm doing. Okay, please don't take my advice for this. It's not financial advice. They could potentially basically go be down in two, three years down the line. But based on the history, based on what I've read, based on what I've seen so far in this stock market, it doesn't look like it. And normally companies don't go up. Okay. So if you look at, for example, the S&P 500 right now, you can see a year to date is actually down 25%. But when you zoom out and you look at the last five years, you can see there's a little drops here and there. This one was COVID. Okay. Down about 30 something percent since COVID. The stock market is up 56%. The S&P 500 is up 56%. Okay, so that is what happens. That's what stocks do. They go up in the long run. If you click max, for example, 
okay as you can see from 1997 right now to, to right now as you can see there's a little drops here and there but generally they have been going up 2021 and 2020 was when everyone had extra money lying around because the government were printing money and handing it out to everybody and that's why the markets was actually very hot same goes for the the um, Dow Jones Industrials so if you look at for example a year to date okay we are down again 21 percent almost 22 percent but when you look at the maximum or even last five years only as you can see there's a little drops here and there and that again is COVID but generally they go, is going up it's 26 percent up in the last five years and okay is basically up since God knows in 1988 okay the Nasdaq is another one that has been hit really hard this year. A year to date is down 33%. For one year, it's 24%. And for the five years, it's 81% up. So if you bought companies in the Nasdaq or even you bought the QQQ, okay, which includes everything, a lot of Sharia, basically non Sharia compliance companies, um, you would be up right now 81 basically percent. And if you click maximum, you can see from 2000, okay, 2002 or 2000, whatever it was, until up to now, you would be up 400, um, over 400%. So what I'm trying to say to you is, yes, stocks will go up and down every week, but you just need to focus on the long term, okay, and buy quality companies in your portfolio that you know will be around for a long time. And not just be around for a long time, come quality, genuinely quality companies. And you can find them right now because there's so many companies on sale right now so it's a very good time to look around and okay and create your watch list and so on so the five companies that we're looking at today are in a different sectors okay they will look at the sector we'll look at the moat we we'll look at the price the dividend yield the five-year growth rate we we'll look at the payout ratio the dividend rate for example how long how many years have they have increased that dividend without cutting it we we'll look at the safety, we we'll look at the profit margin, we we'll look at the free cash flow here, total return, and what is going to happen to the next five years uh, to this company in terms of earnings, morning star valuation, the fair value, and the 52 week range. So we will look at from where it is right now and based on from in terms of 52 weeks high. So it obviously, all these stocks went up. So from the 50, um, highest point, how much actually are they down? So that's one thing we're going to look at. So the first company we look at is Visa. Visa is a quality company. I mean, if you check your pocket right now, you'll find a Visa. And again, before people start saying Visa is basically haram and whatever, Visa does not deal with the river side of things. Visa is the technology company behind the technology that's used in this cars. That's as simple as that. And it has a wide economic moat. It's 177 pounds and dollars right now in terms of price wise they have a dividend yield just below one and their five-year growth rate is only 15 percent payout ratio 21 percent dividend streaks for 14 years and 99 percent okay 99 percent safe in terms of dividends that means they've got enough cash to pay that dividends off and so on profit margin 50 percent you will not find any other companies other than probably uh, mastercard that will give you profit margins of 50 percent that's a quality business free cash flow of 16 billion dollars so they're not going to run out money anytime soon total return in the last 10 years if you own this stock you will have made about 19 percent for the last 10 years every single year in the last 10 years right so that's the average growth estimates in the next five years they're expecting about 19 percent as well every single year from basically from now on and right now it's discounted 22% and their fair value is $229 per share is about 18% down from it is all time high. So as you can see, it's just for the 52 week range, by the way. Um, so as you can see from 177 um, to basically they're expecting it to be 229. So this is a quality business. Again, if you're really interested, you will go away, do your research, find out a bit more information about the company, go to their website, go to the investor section. How do they get money from where, you know, how, where does the money come from? What countries, what regions and so on, so on. What is the margins? You'll find out everything you need to know about the company. Okay. 
And the next company is another company in the semiconductor um, business. It's, it's involved a lot of the testing side of things. It has a wide economic mold, $366 per share right now. And uh, in terms of dividend, it was, we're looking about 1.89 and five year growth rate of 29%. Payout ratio only 18%, eight, eight, percent, um, eight years of non stop. Pay basically increases of that dividend and safety is 66 percent normally 60 and 61 and above is absolutely fine 60 below 61 that's where we, we run we might run into problems profit margin we're looking at about 27 percent so again another very high profit margins normally when you look at the other companies you're looking at about 10 percent 15 percent but because again we're looking at another technology company that's quite high 2.5 billion dollars of free cash flow total return of almost 29 uh, percent and next five years they, they're expecting eight percent growth every single year right now it's down almost to 50 percent the price should be right now 720 dollars according to morningstar that's the intrinsic value of that business and almost 50 percent down from uh, this 52 week highs okay the next company is a company you probably own in your basically products this company makes is owned by almost every single household if you don't own it your family owns it rub definitely so nike or nike whatever you want to call it has a wide economic mode it has a price tag of 183 dollars right now dividend yield of one point almost 1.5 okay and a five-year growth rate 11 percent payout ratio only 33 percent so they have in room every single one of the companies that we looked at right now have a room to improve that dividend if they want to they can increase it anytime they want and the dividend streaks for 20 years basically so for 20 years this company has been increasing that dividend Five more years, they will become dividend aristocrat. Safety right now, we're looking at about 99%, which is absolutely safe. Profit margin about 13%. Free cash flow, we're looking at about $4.4 billion. And total return in the last 10 years is 14%. In terms of the growth in the next 10, 5 years, they're expecting about 10%. And right now, it looks like it's cheap again. 38% discount right now. $133 per share is where it should be. Right now, is only $83 per share. 50% down from it is 52-week highs. Again, another quality business. Everywhere you go, you will find Nike, basically, products. Okay, so why not own it if you are interested if you're looking for companies whose product you understand and is easy to understand and what they've done recently is they're actually utilizing the online version of their product company basically recently so they're selling a lot more online than actually face to face the next company is a company that you know really well it's not in the material it's in the technology sector so that should be information technologies okay it has a wide economic mode 239 dollars per 32 dollars per share i'm really surprised it's actually gone down that much but again when i started buying this company stores the stock itself it was i think 170 and that was straight after covid i still own it in my portfolio um so that's the and i'm the plan is to hold on to it for as long as i can now it has a dividend yield of 1.17 percent five-year growth rate of 10 percent payout ratio 27 percent dividend streaks of 12 years dividend saved of 99 percent profit margin almost at 37 percent and free cash flow of 65 billion dollars i'm sure they will use some of that money um towards the buying um, activision blizzard so we'll see if that deal goes through total return right now we're looking about from the last 10 years sorry 24 percent and then by the way when we talk about these things okay the past it does not tell us what might happen in the future but it gives us an idea at least right and what else do we have if we don't look at what the company has been through in the last 10 years or so in terms of the next five years we're looking about 15 percent growth every single year of earnings and then modern star valuation is 34 percent right now and fair value 352 dollars per share from 232 so, so that's why it's down about 30 um, that's why 34 percent discounted right now and is down 30 percent from uh, this 52 week range okay and the final company we're looking at today is cisco another addition to my portfolio very recently it has a wide economic mode 40 dollars per share right now as we speak dividend yield of 3.8 percent that's the highest in this list that's absolutely brilliant for me five-year growth rate six percent normally i like six or more okay so before i 
six and seven is the sweet spot for me okay anything below six i don't like it six seven percent and above that's perfect okay and payout ratio looking about 45 percent dividend um, streaks of 11 years in a row safety 91 percent profit margin almost to 23 percent free cash flow right now 12.7 billion dollars total return 10 percent in the last 10 years and next seven basic next five years they're expecting seven percent and it's 26 percent discounted right now 54 percent should dollars per share is where it should be 36 percent from it is 52 week um, highs now Cisco is basically a new addition to my portfolio. I own Visa and I own Microsoft. I don't own Lime Research or Nike, these two companies in my portfolio right now. But it's, they are really interesting. I mean, every single one of these companies are basically discounted right now 20% or more. And they are very quality business. So there are opportunities right now. If you are not scared and basically thinking about oh what might happen to my money next week or two weeks and you're thinking about the long term like we've always said, these are quality businesses. And I'm not saying go away and buy these companies, obviously do your own research, but they are not just the only companies that are out there that are really cheap right now. If I quickly show you my portfolio, right? So let me just zoom in so you can see it because it's really important that you understand what is going on in the market right now. The five star morning basically morning stars basically shows they are really cheap right For one star means is expensive so look at these companies like Medtronic, salesforce vm and microsoft adobe asml all of these companies are five star right now and then you've got loads of companies that are four stars right now and then the rest of them are three stars Procter & Gamble was basically two stars not long ago. Right now, we're looking at about five star, com you know, three star company. That means it's fairly valued at the moment, okay? So every single one of these companies is right now discounted, and maybe it's a good time to look around and actually create a watch list and start adding to your portfolios. And don't be scared about what might happen tomorrow or next year. Just focus in the long term, inshallah. Again, like I've always said to you guys, it's not financial advice. I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are and you lasted this long, can you give the videos please a like because it makes an absolutely huge difference. I don't promote these things because I'm genuinely sharing my experience with you guys. I don't promote anything. I just, just do the videos and send out and then see what happens. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day. Assalamu alaikum.